Hello, I'm Bruce Shanny, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to take a look at some chaotic pendulums. Now, I did show one of these before. Now, I think we'll find this version much easier to build. I made extra parts to it, which are interchangeable, so we can actually try a few different versions. Now, let's get started. While these are usually made out of aluminum or acrylic, I'm going to make these out of quarter-inch oak. I'm going to use bearings that are sold for skateboards on a 5 16 inch bolt. And here are the dimensions for the first series of pendulums. The holes will be drilled with a 13 16 inch drill bit, which isn't quite the right size, so they will have to be sanded out just a little bit. After the pieces are sanded and varnished, the bearings can be pressed or tapped into place. A little bit of super glue will help hold them in position. Starting with the double pendulum, here are all the pieces needed to assemble it. Here it is all assembled. Lock nuts on the end of the bolts hold it firmly in place. Now let's go give it a try. This version has a third bar added to it. Now here's the setup and the materials needed. In this version, I'm going to change one of the lengths of the lower bars. It's now about an inch and a half longer than it was before. Now let's give this one a try. The behavior of these pendulums can vary from predictable movements to chaotic motion depending on the initial conditions applied to make it move, the amount of energy added by pushing or releasing it, the angle that it's released from, and the amount of friction within the system itself. Now we can observe this change from predictable motion to chaotic motion by comparing two matching double pendulums. In adding small amounts of energy to both pendulums, we see they behave pretty much the same way in a predictable manner. The same is true if I add a lot of energy, we see they simply rotate around the axle at the center. While they initially appear to start out the same, as they lose energy, we see their behavior changes from orderly motion into a chaotic one, and their motions no longer match.
This next version is named after Nicholas Ra. It's a double pendulum where one of the bars is shaped like an L. The bars are the same length as the ones used before. Here we see the pieces ready to be assembled. I'm replacing the bearing on the left side with washers to even out the weight, and then it's going to be bolted tight to lock it in place. One arm is fixed, one arm is movable. I think this is ready to test. The period of the L-shaped pendulum is twice that of just the single bar. In small amounts, energy can flow from one part of the system into the other part in very predictable patterns. Of course, if you give it a bigger push, its behavior becomes chaotic, just like the previous pendulums. It is possible to make some additional changes. For example, the rod pendulum can have two movable small arms instead of just one. With the double and triple pendulums, we can also try changing more of the lengths. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye.